One, two, three, four, five, six monitors? Ah, and the seventh monitor down there. I, I just, I don't even know what I would do with six monitors, seven monitors. Huge thanks to Elgato Gaming for sponsoring this video. If you've been interested in a stream deck, uh, personally a device that's become essential for my stream, but you can't seem to find one during the pandemic and you don't want to pay those filthy, filthy price gougers. What is this garbage? S almost $700 for a stream deck? Premium service, California. You can go suck a premium deck. But no worries, Elgato's got you covered with the Stream Deck mobile app because you can turn your iPhone, iPad, or Android device into a fully functioning Stream Deck for just $2.99 a month or $25 a year, which literally means it would take six years of subscribing to this to cost the amount of a normal Stream Deck, or I guess 27 years if, you know, you were planning on picking up this one for some reason. If you've seen my stream and all, you know that I use my Stream Deck to not only switch back and forth, between all my scenes and play and pause my music, but also I use their multi-action feature in order to make my super intricate transitions that have multiple steps along the way that I've shown you in some of my YouTube videos. Click the description down below to check it out. So here's a video that uh, a lot of people during live streams have asked me to make. By the way, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. A uh, link to my channel in the description below. Feel free to come hang out. I get asked a lot to do stream reviews and I'm just being real, like I have almost no desire to do that. I'm I'm not a stream coach. I don't ever want to be a stream coach. However, I am interested in uh, making fun of you guys because I love you, of course. So a couple days ago, I tweeted out, send me pictures of your stream setup and send me a screenshot of your intermission screen. And you know, let's take a look at them and see what happens. And I got, I think a couple hundred responses to that tweet. Okay, this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. Clearly this idea is more popular than I expected it to be. However, let's see how popular the execution of this video is. If you guys enjoy this video, uh, let me know if you want me to do this more often in the comments down below. And you know, we can make this a regular thing because there's no way I'm gonna get to a thousand. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. Don't at me about the cables. I just moved two weeks ago, hashtag whip. I don't know what that is, but get them. I don't think cables are your only problem here. Like, like this, for example, I'm all for hydration, but like you got a two liter, you got a cup here, you got a bottle here, you got something here, which I don't know if you drink that or what it is. And what's this pink thing right here? This, this is like a hammock for your cat. I don't, I don't even know. It looks like it might have something to do with cable management, but clearly it's not doing his job. Also, way too many sunglasses. Four, four sunglasses is two. Is this a fifth one? Five sunglasses. That is at least three too many sunglasses. The irony of, of what is this, a Swiffer sitting next to probably one of the dirtiest <laughs> stream setups I've ever seen uh, has an element of beauty to it somehow. But cleanliness aside, you have a dope setup. This over here looks like a probably a blue microphone based on the shock mount, uh, potentially maybe like a, a blue spark or something plugged into a go XLR. Awesome audio content. This looks like a Sony mirrorless again, based off the, uh, the flip up screen up here again, awesome choice. And even like creativity wise, you've got this Logitech C920, which is on what it looks like a selfie stick that's resting in some kind of desk clamp. I assume this is like your first webcam until you upgrade it to the Sony. And then you're like, well, instead of tossing this, I should use it somehow. 10 points for that. I don't know how the point system in this works yet, but you have 10 of them. I love your thermal take case. It's one of my favorite cases. I want to build a PC in one so bad. Oh, and it looks like this was actually a blue ember. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Is he talking into the back of it? This looks like the blue logo. Am I wrong? Is this the blue logo or is this the blue logo? Let me hold on. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. This, this is the logo up here. You're, you're good. You've got a solid setup. There are a couple things I would do here. One, I would clean it, but I feel like you already know that. I also feel like your lighting is being very poorly utilized. I saw that you had two lights here, one on each side. And then is this, I assume this is another face light because it looks like you've got a reflection here that's 
that is reflecting right next to the camera based on the angle of your head, which means you've got plenty of lighting, but what you're doing is kind of the default that most people do when they don't have a lot of experience with lighting, which is place two lights equidistant to your camera on opposite sides so it you know, lights your face in a very balanced way, equal on both sides. And that lighting is fine, it's just, it's just kind of boring. A much more common technique in the film industry, which by the way, you are able to do because it only requires two lights, is to have one, your key light, right in front of you. And when I say key light, I don't mean like the Elgato key light. I just, that's just what you call the light that is your main light on your face. Have that close to your camera, still slightly offset, maybe like, you know, six inches to a foot away from your camera. That slight off angle is gonna allow some shadowing, some slight contour on your face, giving you some depth. And then you take the second light as either a fill light directly to your side to fill in that darker side of your face or do what I do, which is even more dramatic and have an edge light. You can see that's what this key light is right behind me, basically on the exact opposite side to me as my key light. And what that does is that gives kind of a glow around the outside edge. You can see on my forehead right here and that separates me from my background. So for example, if I turn it off, you can see that the right side of my face because it's the opposite side of the key light just kind of blends in with the background as it fades to shadowing. But when I turn it back on, now I'm incredibly separated from the background. This also makes your room look a little bit bigger because of how drastic that separation between you and your background is. I really think switching up your lighting would do a lot for you, especially since you can see kind of on the edge of your hair and back here, you just kind of blend in with your background. Not to mention get some colored LEDs and slightly light the room behind you so it doesn't just kind of look like a dark cave. Oh, and also uh, your hair is fantastic. Cool, let's find another one. This is perhaps one of the most beautiful minimal setups I've ever seen, minus the cat because you know, that suck. If a setup like this is all you need to stream, I'm all for it. Normally I'd push for a couple extras, but I mean like, look how, look how clean this looks. This is the stream of someone who understands what's behind the streamer is more important than what's in front of the streamer. Even the intermission screen is super clean. I love this background white on gray graphic you have. Even these goals up here are so cool. I assume they've, they've gotta be like stream elements widgets or something because those are just so clean. And these logos down here, oh dude, this is just so clean. The only thing that's bothering me, honestly, is the border around your camera. I feel like it doesn't really fit in. You have everything else so clean and minimal. And then you kinda got this clunky, beastly, uh, asymmetrical outline, which normally would be fine. It's it's even not on your stream. It's a little bit clunky for my taste, but it's just kind of jarring compared to the rest. I would put something together similar to what you've got everywhere else. I would also give you the same recommendation that I gave Gidim in the last one we looked at, and that is having some kind of rear or edge light on this side. You can see from here that this side of your face is lit up a lot more. Look at the difference between how lit up this shoulder is versus how lit up this shoulder is. If you had a light over here kind of behind you, filling in these dark areas, giving you back some of that detail, that would work wonders and would look amazing with this colored background. So something as simple as a, as a lamp or even a dome light, I would try to get the same color bulb as the one in front, but yeah, I, I would I would give that a shot. I'm also really curious about how your microphone sounds considering how far away from you it is and that you've got hardwood floors and a pretty blank wall. Let's actually, do you mind? You mind if I like take a look? Real quick. I'm gonna go make a sandwich real quick. <laughs> wow. Okay, who are these people? They're okay. they're in a game right now. They're almost done. It's actually not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You still got a little bit of room sound in there, but all in all, it's not the worst. I think the biggest thing you'd benefit from is a, a simpler outline around this and potentially a better camera. It looks really good here, but when we're looking at the stream, it very much had webcam quality with that low FPS, the super bouncy exposure going light, dark, light, dark. I think a camera upgrade would be a lot more noticeable than a microphone upgrade. Kaguya Sama wallpaper. This is a man of culture. Seriously, best anime of all time. Kaguya Sama Love is War, go watch it. But who do we have over here? Who's in, who's in this? 
this, this is really the stream. I just, I just want to know. Down here, we've got the three kids from Promised Neverland. Fantastic anime. We got a embarrassed hot girl, as is necessary in every anime. A gravity-defying anime chick. And of course, you know, you got your girl in a giant donut. What else would a stream need? Is that a... Yeah, that's a titty. Let's find another one. Another stream, not another titty. Go easy on me. Mm. All jokes aside, your setup is fine. I'm a little confused about a couple things. One, I feel like things are on the desk that don't need to be on the desk. Like put your PlayStation down on top of this thing. Why, you'd put your remotes somewhere else. But like, you've got a microphone arm that's more expensive than your camera. And I just don't know how I feel about that. That's not true. I know exactly how I feel about it. Doesn't make any sense. This is the Blue Compass mic arm. It's a hundred bucks and it's a great one. I know because I have one. I just don't know if I'd ever encourage anyone to buy it <laughs> for upgrading their camera. Solid microphone option though. I'm not sure if this is a wave one or a wave three. I don't see any dots up there, which makes me think it's a one, but it looks a little taller like the three. Either way, both fantastic microphones, solid choice. And standing desk, always a good choice. What is this? What is this thing? Is this like the inside of a truck? I don't think so. Is this, what is this? I want to say it's like underneath stairs, but is this a tiny closet? Where do you have a room like this? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is like a little gaming hideaway. I want one. I love this. I would hang out in there all the time. I love what you did with these tiles, by the way. These LifeX tiles are so cool. Way cooler than Nano Leafs. However, LifeX software, Awful. I'm sure you're watching this and you're like, yes, thank you. Someone understands my pain. Hold on. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six monitors? What do you do with six? You got two PCs here. So many of these LifeX panels. What like, ah, and the seventh monitor down there. I like, what do you, what would you even use seven monitors for? Not to mention this one is the size of two. Okay. What's, what's on this? We got Spotify taking up this massive TV up top. We've got your Steam library. So I assume this one's connected to your gaming PC. And maybe this is your main gaming monitor because it looks like your game's on there. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't, this isn't a Steam monitor. This is OBS because there's a preview window right there. But then what's this? This looks like, is that you? Is that Twitter? Is that Ninja on Twitter? I'm pretty sure that's Ninja over there. I just, I don't even know what I would do with six monitors, seven monitors. This room has had so much time put into it that I can't, I can't critique anything. I mean, if anything, maybe where's the lighting? I got to see. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at his stream. Okay. So we got a big ring light over here, relatively behind the camera. And then this will probably act as a fill light because he's got so many of those over there and that'll work really well. Camera should look better than it does. It's almost like he's got the settings wrong. It looks like he's got the ISO cranked all the way up, which is why you can see all that noise over there. And there's almost no detail on his face. He's even a little bit washed out. I don't know what your camera settings are, but three things that I would do is one, make sure your aperture is as wide as it gets. So the F slash number, make sure that number is as low as possible. I would set your shutter speed to be as long as possible. So again, that number one over a number, set that one as low as possible. Uh, it looks like you're in 30 FPS. So try to make it one over 30. And then after that, that's when you adjust your ISO accordingly. Cause your camera should look far better than this. Dude, he's got his own logo on his chair. What a fancy man. I respect this stream. By the way, if any of you guys see anyone that looks interesting to you, make sure you go and give them a follow. This is this is really cool. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to see uh, how interested you guys are in this video. And if I want to do more, because I would love, I mean, I got a thousand entries and I looked at like seven today. I would love to go over more if it's something you're interested in watching. If there were things that you think that I missed, feel free to jump into my chat. Let me know some thoughts that you have. Or if you like the music that's going on the back of the stream and you want to pick up some Stream Beats merch, we've got brand new Stream Beats merch available for two weeks only. There's also some Alpha Gaming merch there, some Harris Heller merch there, and um, a shirt that 
maybe most definitely doesn't say hentai on it, but also might say hentai on it, but nobody needs to know that. Hope to see you in future videos and in my Twitch chat. And as always, guys, happy streaming. That's my nade. Come on! Harris, it literally landed on top of me. He's right here healing, he's prone. Are you kidding me? Harris? I did, Harris? that was my nade! <laughs> Harris, you can't say that's my nade and it bounced.